Hello, my name is Randall Kozak. I'm the coordinator for the IT Innovation and Design Program. I'm pleased that you're interested in this program and that I have an opportunity to, to speak to you about it. And I have a short PowerPoint presentation I want to share with you. And so let me just set that up right now. IT Innovation and Design. So ITID, of course, is the acronym. The name gives you some clues as to what this program is all about. So information technology, IT, you know that this has something to do with computers. Innovation has something to do with the development of new technologies. And there is a strong design component in this program. So why would a student be drawn to this? Well, it is quite a unique program in my opinion. So over the years, quite a number of software development programs have developed. You can find them at various colleges and universities. Some are short, some are long, whatever. Uh, but this program was developed, oh, about uh, eight or nine years ago. And the idea was that this would be a different kind of a program. So in software development programs, the idea typically is to train students to learn to program on a computer. And uh, to program means to write instructions to the computer that the computer will understand in order to create some kind of an application that will be useful to people. So certain applications you would be well familiar with, things like Word and Excel, but also things like websites, web applications, social media sites, these are all things that need to be programmed. Well, at one time, uh, programming business applications was kind of a straightforward kind of thing. They tended to all look rather similar, but what's happened in the last 10 to 15 years is that there's been this explosion of new technologies and some you would be familiar with, some you might just really take for, for granted now. And that would include mobile technology. So phones, laptops, tablets, that's one thing. There's also the use of animation and video and sound in websites. And so uh, this has created kind of a new world for software development. And it, I think, created the opportunity for a new program that would train students uh, to be able to program for these kinds of technologies. The program has a strong creative component. It was made that way from scratch. There is a strong design component that goes through the programs, through the program rather. So there are graphic design courses. There's a course in uh, animation and game design, a couple of courses actually in game development. That is on top of the programming courses that you would normally expect to find in a software development program, the database courses and uh, the interconnectivity courses, some networking, some security, and so forth and so on. What this means is that, in my opinion, this program leads to a wider range of professions in the field than you would normally find in a software development program. So let me just back up a bit and say that the demand for software developers has been strong going back a long time now. I don't expect that to change. We are in kind of a different time now and that may affect the economy and job opportunities for a little while. But what I would say about that is that when the economy weakens, it is good to be in a field that has been strong and that can be expected to continue to be strong. So there might be a blip, but I think that by and large, the demand for software developers is going to be quite strong. Now, the graduates of this program have special skills. So design skills, innovation skills. I should have mentioned that they get courses in marketing and also in entrepreneurship. And something else I might say about that is that when you think about the front end of a, of, a, of a website or an application, and this program has a lot to do with the front end, that that typically has a lot to do with the business model of a company. So if you think about apps that you're used to, um, what you, you can imagine that for things that involve 
uh, booking uh, you know, a ride, uh, having food delivered to your door, that kind of stuff. These, um, the, the app is really the business, you know, and what you see on the screen is very much the business model. And so the, the, the business and the business model really becomes encapsulated in what the user tends to see on the website or on the interface of the application. So that's why a marketing course is particularly important for this program. Entrepreneurship, we want to foster right from the very beginning, a strong spirit of entrepreneurship, because this is the other thing that's changed in the last decade or so. At one time, computer application development had a lot to do with larger companies. So big companies would develop software for other rather large companies. But what's happened in the last couple of decades is that a number of uh, quite a few startups have uh, have started up, and what that means is that there are many more smaller companies around. In addition to the traditional employers for the graduates of a software development program, and um, these small companies also obviously need to develop developers. Uh, they need to employ developers rather. And uh, so there is a whole other component to the job market beyond what we used to see. All right, this program brings together a number of skills, some of which I've just described. So design and user experience, if you Google user experience, uh, what you will find is that that has very much to do with the design of the interface of a website or a piece of software. But nowadays, companies, professionals in the field, they have come to understand the user experience is a very important thing. There's a lot of competition now between companies that deliver, deliver their services via a website, for example, or via an app that you can download to your phone. And so a user, if they download an app and they don't find it pleasing, they can very easily move on to the next one. Many apps are very inexpensive. And so user experience has actually become a very important concept now in the world of software development. Of course, this program is going to involve programming techniques and methodologies. There's a strong emphasis on emerging technologies in this program. marketing business models, and like I said, innovation is right there on the name. That's a very key concept for this program. Career paths, <coughs> pardon me. Well, um, this program is training students to be programmers, also called developers. The number one career that graduates of this program end up in is would be called front-end developer. That's another thing that you can Google, go to a human resources site, and you'll see what a front-end developer is. And um, that's somebody who programs, but has special knowledge in the field of design and also digital technologies that might be employed on a website, for example. Then beyond that, there are also what are called full-stack developers. These are people who will develop the front end and the back end and the middle, and maybe don't have the same kind of specialization for either the front end or the back end that you might, that you might understand um, that, that people who are called front end developers or back end developers would have. So more of a jack of all trades. Uh, other graduates have become UX designers. Another potential exciting uh, career for somebody graduating from this program would be an emerging technologies researcher. Okay, what other special features are there about this program? First of all, there is the co-op. We have a very special co-op arrangement for this program. This is an advanced diploma. It is three years long without the co-op. The co-op term is 16 months long, which gets divided up into four four month work terms, which you can do in four different companies or one long 16 month term or two eight month terms or, or any kind of combination like that. Well, Conestoga has a long history with this area 
and with uh, developing programmers and software developers. Something you may or may not be aware of is the Kitchener-Waterloo is an extremely good area for high tech companies. And um, we have a very strong relationship with those companies. So like I said, our students, if they qualify for the co-op and they have to get a certain average in their first year to, co to qualify for that, they get to do between their second and third year, uh, these four four month rotations. And like I said, they can be arranged in any different ways. Uh, what we find is a lot of employers prefer to have our students for more than just four months at a time. So they like really prefer to have a, a minimum of eight months. In addition to working for companies, and those are paid placements, by the way, there are also opportunities for entrepreneurial and freelancing rotations. And an entrepreneurial one would be something where you're supervised by somebody from our Center for Entrepreneurship here at the college. This is a department which I, I, I'm very, uh, very pleased with. They've done great things for our students. And a number of our ITID students have gone this route and developed their own companies. You know, uh, we'll have to see how those go. The company hasn't, uh, the program has not been around for that long. So some uh, graduates have developed companies and we'll have to see how well those succeed. But just going through that process, I think is an amazing thing. And so we have a department at the college which uh, fosters that and so students are able to do an entrepreneurial work term and quite a number of our students have decided to go that route. This is a BYOD program. What that means is bring your own device. We require our students to have their own laptop and the college divides up the categories of laptops into three different levels. There is the good model, the better model, and the best model. And uh, for the ITID program, being something that's very computing intensive, we want our students to buy the better model and you'll see the minimum requirements right there. If you have questions about the program, I would very much like to hear them. So my name is Randall Kozak, I'm the coordinator and you can see my email address there. It's rkozak at conestogac.on.ca. And, just before I let you go, I do have something else I would like to show you very quickly. You might be curious about what the college is like. Uh, we are at the Waterloo campus. Like I said, Waterloo is a very strong, both Kitchener and Waterloo, they're a very strong area for high tech companies. And we're right there in kind of the academic district of Waterloo. And um, the Waterloo campus, has belonged to the college for a while, but they've just recently renovated it. There's an external shot, and uh, this is what it looks like inside. This is the what's called the welcome desk. And you'll see that the people who work there are smiling. They are pretty much always smiling whenever I see them. And uh, these people are quite remarkable. They can hand, answer just about any question that a student might have. You'll see that it's all nice and bright and airy, and, um, that's because of the recent renovation. There was a whole wing that was built essentially for the IT programs. And so we're based there now and uh, very pleased with the new facilities. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate having had this opportunity to talk to you about the ITID program. Uh, we've had quite a few successful grads from this program now, even though the program's not that old, but they've got exciting jobs. And like I said, it is really a rather kind of a different program. And, and I think that's important. So if you are somebody who is, who is interested in going into the computer field, you wanna work with computers, programming, that kind of thing. And if you feel you've got uh, a strong creative streak, and if you enjoy the idea of design, maybe you know, you've, you've, you've tooled around a little bit with graphics tools, although you don't need to be an artist to come into this program be, and be successful but you know if you if those kinds of things appeal to you then the itid program might be of real interest to you thank you very much like i said if you have any questions just email me i would very much like to have a chance to answer those thank you